Okay, so this is a new, I don't want to say a project, but it's a new thing that we're trying to do. It's called Shade Life Archives. And the idea of it is we're going to take a picture, a video, something from the past at random, look at it, and talk about that moment. My glasses are dirty, and I can't see you that well. Let's just jump into it. So I thought what we'll do is we'll start with a Facebook memory. So if you go onto your Facebook, and you go to those three little lines, and then you go to memories. Oh, they spiced it up on us. You can scroll down. So you like it shows you one year, three years. I'm going to go until like a picture pops up. Okay. Dang. Was that? Do you remember that? Was that our FPU? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Financial Peace University. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right, I guess we're talking about that. Wow, there's a lot. What a way to, to start that one off. <laughs> Financial Peace University. Where were we? Let me see. That. What does that say that was? 2006. That's six years ago. So this is like around the time when we first started. Like oh, yeah, we were dating. Seriously dating. Yes, because I wanted... That's even the, when I... But this photo is at the Boynton Beach campus. Yes, it is. So originally... <clears throat> okay, so was Borchen, I still working? Fortune was at uh, working at Christ Fellowship up in West Palm Beach, based at the City Place campus. City Place I started serving at, and then I started uh, part-time working working there and part-time at the main campus. Oh, that's So I was right. doing that, and then a full-time position came and up. And where's the main campus? Main campus is at Gardens. Gardens. Mm -hmm. Oh, so do you remember coming down for House of Drums on Tuesdays? Oh, yeah. And then and being exhausted. driving all the way back up. What is that, like an hour and a half drive? It's an hour. No, it's an hour and like... Five ten minutes, but it's still pretty hour and a half. Okay, it's an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good drive. That's that's called dedication right there. I um, remember you driving yeah. driving down. Uh, I also remember, and I kind of want to talk about this too, which is I also remember you were so tired after drums. Yeah, and there was because this guy would be like, "Oh, uh, just one more song," and ten songs later, it's, it's never one o'clock in the morning, and I'm like. DJs know it's never one more song. So we would, um, man, you would come and we'd be so tired. And I remember you were like, I don't want to drive home, but I, but I'm, but I don't want to stay over right. because of where you were with right. like your life and your faith. And it was like completely taboo. Oh yeah. And then I was just like, whatever. You yeah, know? just stay over. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember no. that being like a, a, a struggle. It was. You know, I know I this has nothing to do forth. with FPU right yeah, now, and does. I will jump into that. But this is the time frame. This is the time frame. It was. It's bringing back memories. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I mean, it does correlate with it because that's where you were so into uh, your walk of faith. Mm -hmm. And I was on a different path. I don't want to say different path. I was on a different stage within my journey. Right. And it's almost as like um, we were... Doing... We were... I don't know how to... We were merging. Yeah, we were merging. Our paths of faith yeah. were kind of merging. It was challenging at first because you were bringing different perspectives that I was like, mm, that's not what I was taught. Yeah. So it took some time, but eventually we just kind of like melted together. Yeah, so I, I don't want to say that I was like post-Christianity at the time, but I was definitely not about Christianity right. at the time. And I was like all about Christianity. All in it. Yeah. And to win it. I think what was interesting is that the the polar opposites is what kind of attracted us to one another. Mm -hmm. You know, like there was a part of me that really needed, <laughs> like responsibly, but also wanted structure right. in my life. And I was all about structure. And that is completely, I think your middle name <laughs> should have been structure. structure. <laughs> and then there's a part of you that on, I don't want to say on the opposite side, but on a big deep side you were more on the uh, trying to merge into this like i just need to let go right type of thing where do you remember like i guess a little explanation of where you were in that time frame of life i mean that was six years ago yeah i was definitely like church every day like making sure like i even gave you a bible like when I met you, I was like, you should read this and get to know Jesus. Um, but I think I was just, I was very gung-ho in my faith. But at the same sense, there was some things that weren't making sense. But I couldn't make sense of it. 
as to why it wasn't making sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> does it make <laughs> does it make sense to you? It does. Okay, so if it makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. <laughs> That's funny that I just pulled a you. But um yeah, I think for me I was just there were some things that I was questioning and wasn't aligning with what I believed. But at the same time, I was almost scared of it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't necessarily like pry too much. Yeah. Um, And I didn't have to pry with you because you just already was like, oh, that's wrong. (laughs) Well, I was, I don't want to say I was brought up, but I was pushed into a journey of faith that encouraged you to question everything. And your idea, I don't want to say your idea, but the way that you were brought up brought up into faith was not really question just believe right and that was an area that i had a big problem with because it was so much of just to uh uh and it's not to say that people are completely wrong but no. you take away someone's train of thought or how they can intellectualize or their or, choice yeah yeah I, absolutely and that's like a kind of like a free will thing mm-hmm. and i remember that for me as much as i was so freedom and thought and just ah, la, 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 live life there was also a part of me that was like truly um broken mm-hmm. from not having a sense of structure either right because as much as i was like ah, oh, you know f the church or forget you know forget this community and they don't want me and they don't understand me and you know they're wrong and they're not open-minded there was also this part of me that was yearning for the connection and the the structure yeah, of just like for, for cons- community yeah and I remember going back to this picture um, when you brought up that you wanted to take this class together. And I was like, oh, hell no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was this before prep for marriage? Yes, way before. This was like one of the first ones. This is actually when uh, I started coming to visit you. And I remember that there was a practice session at San- Santa Lucia's oh, in yeah. Boynton Beach. Yep. Or, or Lake Worth, wherever that is, yep, not far. Lake Worth, and yep. I would just hit up my friend Ricky, and I would tell him, uh, come meet with me. Um, I remember I that. get out of this class, and then we'll go session. And it was kind of like, you know, uh, all right, it's not a big deal because I'm going to go practice anyway. Right. Right? But I remember it being such a burden on me. And it's not that, like, FPU is bad well, or financial I feel like peace. we were engaged at this point. No. No? No, we Because we were like, oh, would you? Oh, This maybe. is six years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. We were yeah. not engaged. No. And, and I mean, that's, that, that shows a big difference in like where you were, where I was. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, we're married. <laughs> really? <laughs> For you, you were like, we're going to make this real and serious. And I also think that's why when we first met, there was, uh, and, uh, and maybe it's a belief thing too. You know, when we first met, which was like way before this, this yes. picture was taken. Correct. You were so into, I got to find somebody and I'm going to marry them. Right. And I was so into, I got to live life. Right. And when I met you. Well, you also were a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's you. true. That's true. <laughs> you, you had some growing up to do. Uh, I'm still a kid. Yeah. That hasn't changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> um, Are you committed? Yes. That changed. So I remember when this class came up and as much as like, I just didn't want to take it. And it's not because I didn't want to take it because I, I didn't believe in it or I thought it was wrong. It was the concept. It was just like, we're going to meet after. Yeah. Like in a group. <laughs> I'm going to sit with strangers. Right. And you were like, it's going to be good and we're going to learn great. together. And I think it might have been the first time that I've ever learned with somebody. Oh. Yeah. And, That's and, cool. and those are where things started to shift for me, I think, like mentally because... Uh, not that I haven't like learned with people, but when it comes to like a, a, a partner, yeah. a relationship, mm-hmm. never like sat down to like, let's enhance our relationship. Right. And this was thinking about something that is so important about relationships, especially in America. I don't want to say especially in America, in the in world. The world but, yeah. you know, finances are a huge thing that break people apart. Correct. Finances are a big thing that get in the way. Um, those are the things that people don't agree, agree on. And like just learning how you have to be on the same page about your finances. Mm-hmm. I mean, imagine us going into marriage and never talking about these oh, things. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure people go into their, you know, into their marriages never having the conversation. But for us, I think a big benefit that we have within our life is not so much that we manage it great or that we're super rich or whatever, but you and I are very much on the same page about 
discussing money. Correct. And and money sometimes can be so sensitive in a in a in a relationship, especially. I mean, think about how we are. There's we have a business together. I mean, this is now not so much of like when we first got married, right. but now we have a business together, which means technically we have one income, even mm-hmm. though we both work. But we have one income, correct? And it's not like, oh well, this this is, is mine, and this, this is, is mine, yours. and here's your allowance, and you right. know, it's like whatever is made, this is, is ours, is ours, and that's the way that we choose to do it. Not right. everyone does that, and I know right. some people that have great marriages and they have separate bank accounts, right? Know, but this is how we are. But for us, it just works out this way. And I never, I I, I always I was never taught this because like my parents did have conversation about this, but I was never taught to discuss these things. Oh, yeah. In relationships. Well, we also, in our generation, too, it's not necessarily at the forefront of people's minds. Like, our parents, it was survival, and it was, you know, we have to make a certain amount so we can survive. But never was it actually taught to us, like you said. Yeah. But on top of that, like, the generation that we grew up with, it wasn't, like, a big deal either. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't think about that stuff, you know? Or, Or also, like what you bring into your marriage right Right. which is like debt school debt Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. you know uh also doesn't it's not just yours anymore it becomes ours yeah yeah it's it's now a joint thing it's Mm -hmm. not like oh well that's yours you take care of that you know it's like it affects everything um and then also too like habits like spending habits like uh, even now i have spending habits you have spending habits Mm -hmm. and and we both have to like hey uh, maybe we just not do that right. this week, you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll, yeah. you know, Maybe and then we'll the next day we're like, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. Right? <laughs> we're good. We're yeah. good. And it's fine. Um, and even how we make money too is yeah. something I think we do well together. But at the same time, it's a it's a different. Uh, we do have different mindsets on that. We do. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Mine is like, which is good. I, I would say, you like I make sure that we live, and you keep us alive. Right. 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 Like you make sure that. We're eating, yep. and we get sleep, and I make sure, like, yeah, like, there's a party. Let's We're good, live. you know. Let's, Let's live a little. Right, we, so like, I, like, I make sure <laughs> that we spend our money on things that are important and enhance our life, right. and you make sure that we have money. Right. I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't spend until we have money. But the way that I I view it, and this is not like fully true or right to that regard or that respect, is that um, you know I I try to live, and if I need more money, I just work harder. And I make more money by putting more effort into it. Right. And and I think that's really because, I mean, we both have that mentality. Um, but, like, you're such a saver. Yes. And. Yes. I mean, you like to get things. Don't get me wrong. I do like them. Pillows. We like pillows. We have lots of pillows. I got a lot of pillows. We all these blankets. <laughs> but you're way more conscious of things. Like, when we go out. I'm on a budget. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, okay. yeah, just get it. And I'm like, uh, How much is but that? it's going to go on sale next week, so I'll just wait. <laughs> and I get really proud of myself, too, when I'm like, babe, I got, I, there was a deal. There was a on deal. On the milk, it was two for one. And then you're like, did you check the expiration date? Ah, I did not. I didn't, but there was yeah. a deal. There was I a deal. the deal. Let's, Let's focus. focus on the positive, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on the positive. I love it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, even like that in being polar opposite mm-hmm. in how we treat money, respect money. I mean, my dad always tells me, like, I don't respect money. And <laughs> to a certain extent, he's very right. Right. Uh, but I do respect money. Yeah. Because I have to pay for this house and I have to make right. sure that we're eating. No, you're you know? taking care of us for sure. But I think it's just like this concept of like, uh, I don't know, the, you know, make a living. Yeah. And I, I, I'm so afraid of, of... You're afraid of missing out on life. Yeah. I'm afraid of like working and then never living. So right. I feel like the money that you have has to go towards your lifestyle. Right. You know, from and, and it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It just has to be something that you enjoy to do. Right. So like I always hate when you can't do something that you, you actually just enjoy. Feel because, like you're working, working, working and Yeah. And I think that helped too with like minimalism. Like getting involved in minimalism. I'm not a minimalist, I'm practicing minimalist, <laughs> but I try my best to not really have I, I think a good way to put it is to be an essentialist, like to have the things that you really care about, right? And to have what you really, um, what you really enjoy, and making that the the, the center of your right. life, yeah. And then everything else, if it comes, it goes. Absolutely. Whatever, you know. But that's I don't even know why I brought this up. 
No, it's fine. You were just talking about the differences between like how we were so we were polar opposites, but how it works because it kind of balances each other. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Backtrack. (laughs) Yes, ADD big time. (laughs) Uh, FPU, Financial Peace University. I do think that if we didn't take it together, our relationship would be very different. And not just talking about finances, but the concept of learning together. Right. Yeah, because we had to ask each other questions. Yes. Like one of the questions was like, who would do the finances in the in the relationship? Mm-hmm. And at first it was me. I was like, oh, I'll do it because <laughs> you don't know how to spend money. Um, but then it changed in the relationship because money started to stress me out a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you were like, I'm going to handle it. And it just works out now. Yeah. And we would have never known that, though, had we not taken the class and asked each other these questions and also figured out how to actually save money, what it's like to actually have money before you get married, what's the amount, like what you should do, and all these steps to take before because you just think, oh, we're just going to get married and it's just going to all fall in place. But yeah, sunshine, rainbows, work. and unicorns. And <laughs> there's work that you have to put in. Yeah, it doesn't always work out that way. So are you glad I asked? I'm very glad. But I think that's how our relationship works. Yeah. Is I ask you to do something and you're like, you got to give me a second. Yeah. And then you do it and you're like, I love pho. I love it. I love it. Uh, right? <laughs> And they're like, can we yeah. go get some tomorrow? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then on the other side, it's the same with me. You know, you ask of something of me and now I'm sitting here and I'm freaking designing a room <laughs> or, you know, I'm like, oh, well, where does this pillow go? <laughs> oh, let, me, let me frame up this shot. I think I'm a better photographer because I have you in my oh. life because I, I, I have, I cannot turn off. I mean, just now we were like looking at like what this looks like. And as much as I don't want to care about it, I can't help. But if there's mm-hmm. a freaking cord is there a cord here? If there's a cord in the... <laughs> what is that? I can't even see what that is. It doesn't it, matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even having the conversation of that, for a lot of couples, it's very difficult to even like talk about. Right. But I think because you and I have had, in the beginning stages of a relationship, created a, we're going to learn together. Right. And we're going to and we're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. Mm-hmm. So if there's like an issue, uh, it's not like a well that's you. You know, it's Well, a, it also helped because you were very much like we need to talk about our feelings. We need to ex- you know, whatever you're feeling, if you're unsure about this or that, you know, I want you to come and talk to me. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Cuz I've never I've never had that like growing up, you know, we just don't I don't know if it's all Turkish culture, but it's just the culture of it. We just, we have dinner together and we talk about like our day, but very surface level, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, um, So we never really talked about our emotions and how we're feeling. Um, if someone made you mad, like I didn't even know how to fight. Like I got punched in the face <laughs> and fell to the ground. I, and I was am just not, like, I am ah. not laughing. I'm yeah. laughing at how you explained it. But I'm not <laughs> laughing at you. I didn't know how to fight back. Like, nobody taught me how to fight, nothing. So even when it comes to verbally, I don't know how to fight back. I hate confrontation, all that fun stuff. All right, let me think about this. Okay. <laughs> I do think that my my mom and my sisters helped me with, like, asking me when I was younger, how do you feel, you know, at the very least. Yeah. You know, pulling that out of me. But I don't think I learned how to express myself, anger, sadness, uh, issues, problems, tough conversations. I don't think I learned that there. I mean, maybe I did, but I I can't really recall it being like, yep, I got this from mom or I got this from dad. Right. What I do remember is being a very Filipino person. I'm very passive aggressive. Yeah. And I actually don't like conflict. I have moved to South Florida. (laughs) And I was around a lot of uh, Latin Americans that naturally... They tell you how it is. Exactly. Yeah. It's and, and I don't want to say that it's like they argue all the time. It's just there's there's passion mm-hmm. and there's if they, you know, from what I got from it is so much. I remember, like, I would hang out with my friend Red a lot. And Red was 
uh, he's Puerto Rican, but he would he was around all different types. And for me, coming from New York, you know, in Long Island, mm-hmm. having that much culture, you're like, whoa, I'm on another, I'm in another world, <laughs> you know. So, and that's the thing about South Florida. South Florida, you get it's a melting pot, but authentic yes. cultures. I yes. mean, you're getting first generation because in New York, there's years of generations of course. from other countries. Right. But this is like grandma just just moved here. Right. You know, Correct. like a couple yes. years ago. So yeah. you're getting very authentic cultural homes. Mm-hmm. So I remember like being around people that just discussed everything. And it would turn into heated times. And sometimes it wouldn't turn. It'd just be like, you know, they're just talking about right. things. And not that I wasn't taught to, t- to talk about things. Right. I just wasn't taught to be so upfront all the time. Right. So I think like that. Uh, that um, the 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 cultural aspect of being down in South Florida, <laughs> yeah, know, and, and especially being involved in b-boy culture, b-boy hip hop culture, is is a huge Latin American population down here. A lot of my close friends are from Cuba, uh, within the within the culture, and I and I remember just being around them more, like it was just a different, it was just a culture shock yeah. of how they interacted, and that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, and now. I'm a lot more of like if there's a problem we talk about it. Yep. It doesn't have to be heated. It doesn't have to be anger. It just is like if there's something we disagree on, we talk about it. And I think the concept of that also bled into my journey of faith, which is that like I'm not sure about that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And so much in faith traditions, cultural traditions. I mean, mm-hmm. even even cultural traditions like some people grow up in a home of culture that does not work in America. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say it doesn't work, but it's like, it's just two different worlds. Yeah. And they're discouraged to talk about it. Yep. Because it's just not how it works. It's like, this generation's right. You're younger, you don't talk about it. And being involved in hip-hop, hip-hop is very like, especially battle culture, I disagree with you. Let's, let's get down. Right. And that bled into how I interacted with Faith too, which is like, I disagree it's just that 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 i disrespect you right just we have to talk about this because right. something's not resonating right and when you are in a world of people that just can't have cordial respectful conversation and debate like understanding that healthy have, debate ha- yeah have a healthy debate and you and i we disagree on a lot of things yeah but we very rarely almost never argue right and that's not because like we're not passionate it's just because we were able to have a discussion. Right, we are able to just ma- talk to each other. A mature yeah. conversation. Mm-hmm. And I love that, especially now, you're like way more open to telling me when you're you're not okay with something. Yeah. And it took a long time Very for long you to time. get to. I remember one previous relationship, um, like any time I would speak up or I was hurt or something, like they would blow up or they would get upset and they're like, we're not going to date anymore. And it was like this roller coaster of emotions. So anytime, so it was a big fear of mine to deal with conflict because I felt like I'm such a people pleaser. So I feel like if I was like, even in friendships, I would just shut my mouth because I'm like, I don't want to lose them as a friend, you know, but at the same time, like they're not your real friends if you can't be honest with them. Yeah. And then even in our relationship, like it was really hard for me to open up because I was just scared you were going to leave me or you were just going to, you know, tell me I was stupid or because I heard that a lot growing up. So in my mind, I'm like, just avoid anything that makes you feel scared or bad. Just avoid it, period. Yeah. And so when you were like, I want to know what you're feeling. I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why do you <laughs> want to know? Why are we talking about our feelings? Why are we doing this? It's awkward. And it was actually challenging for me, like, to feel comfortable with that. But the good thing is you kept at it and you created a safe space for me where the more and more we did it, it just felt more natural to do it with you. Doesn't mean it changed for other relationships. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. still working on that. I still don't like conflict, but I'm I'm understanding the importance of opening up and having a voice too. I think being shut down so much, you're just like, I don't have a voice anymore. And for me, dance actually like gave me that voice. Like I felt like I could actually express myself without actually using my words. Yeah. And so that's why I was I fell in love with dance because I was like, man, I feel good and no like nobody's judging me. Yeah, I don't even have to talk. And 
It was fantastic. Now I can't shut up, but <laughs> maybe I have to dance more. <laughs> That's what it is. But yeah, I guess it was challenging, but I, I mean, there's still aspects of it that's hard, but I'm feeling, you know, we've been married four years now, so, and we've known each other, gosh, forever, so I just feel safe with you, you know, so mm-hmm. it helps when you... I remember, like, trying to pull things out of you, mm-hmm. you know, like, just tell me what you're... It'd be like one word, and I'm like, okay, we're good. Tell me what okay. you're feeling, you know, like, I remember uh, in my old place when I lived with Fernando, like, yep. uh, we were about to go somewhere, and you just were mute, wouldn't talk, and I, and you sat down on the bed, and I was like, and I was like, just came up, and I sat next to you, and I'm like, we can talk about this, you know, and you were like, why? Like, <laughs> like it was just, and, was and, and you had to understand, for me dark ages way before you <laughs> all i dated was latin women right in south florida so That's they a, gave you a piece of their mind oh for sure <laughs> and it be and the debate and i don't want to say debate in a negative way just debate itself was a natural thing right so now dating a turkish Complete woman opposite. i'm like come on man like why is this so difficult <laughs> let's talk about this you know like a, a expressive yeah um and you're right. I think it's also, it, it's it's having the safe environment. Uh, and maybe because, like, in faith circles, I never felt like I had a safe environment to talk. So it's, you know, or to, or to express my, my problems or my questions, my mm-hmm. doubts and my fears. Mm-hmm. And it's not to say that, like, you, that the, the, those fears and doubts are, are, are valid or invalid. Just... No matter what, yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know how one thing that we do whenever we have, like, problems, we always ask each other, do you want me to listen or do you want my input? Right. And if it's just listen, like, we, we'll just, the other person will shut up and just listen. Because right. sometimes it's just... I just need a vent. I just need to vent. I just need to let this right. out. And, and I don't need any critique. <laughs> I don't need nothing. I just need you to hear me. And we're both, like, like life coaches. Like, so right. we're like, okay, let's, step one, well, <laughs> let's, let's... Let's have a savings and uh, let's figure that out. Let's figure out how we need to come up with a solution. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're not life coaches, but we just act. And, that, and that's, that is completely church. That is yes. so church in us, uh, which is like wanting to fix everyone. Yes. And I think that's like, an, uh, and again, another, I don't want to say another issue. It's just another, another thing. Like people don't need to be fixed. Right. People just need to be human beings. Right. And, and they, they need, need to feel okay within themselves yes. and with what they are feeling. And they need to be heard. Right. And not just, like, heard, but they need to be, like, even if they're wrong, they still need to be looked at as a human being. Yeah. And not, like... Not judged for yeah. it. Yeah. And I think that's... I, pr- I would say that that is a strength in our relationship. Yeah. Is we don't judge each other. Nope. Even if we disagree with each other. Right. And it's very easy. And this is not just in faith circles. This is in, I think, all... All walks of life, right? From cultural to generational to religious, That's whatever. Funny. All right, let's see if he wakes up. So we're doing this because our son is sleeping. Is sleeping, but it sounds like he's waking up. He went to bed early tonight. This is Baba near him. All right, pause. I was gonna ask you, did that? make you a little nervous like dating me or was it more like oh this is a challenge i'm up for it okay i want to save myself really quick <laughs> i don't want to say that all latin women are like that i don't want to say that all latin people are like that just the circles that i was around mm-hmm. it was more of a of a dominance in that culture and i think for me that being around it so much it became natural it was just kind of like oh, i'm just in this pool I'm just swimming around in it. Mm-hmm. So you being very opposite felt like a refreshing water. Huh. And it was different and it was like, I gotta, you know, figure out how I can swim in this stream. But it was it was different and I think I was at a a stage in my life where I was like like really looking for something out of my own normal because I think it's very easy for anybody really to get what they want Mm -hmm. to map out 
this is what I want in life. And I think that that's a, a, an idea of life, a romanticism of life that was handed to me. Mm-hmm. And it didn't pan out. And I was at a place where I was, you know what? And maybe this is back to the faith concept of, of life. Um, your will be done, not mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I let go of my own control, and I don't want to sound too over spiritual on that, but you know, really, like it's just my uh, me driving. Mm-hmm. Uh, it you, it's when you came back into my life, and I think both of us were probably at a place where maybe we were trying to control things too much, yep, um, and lost control, and we crashed into one another. <laughs> yeah, again, and I I th- I do think that at some point relationships have to exist in the framework of you need each other mm-hmm. you know because then if you're the same person you don't need each other right you know so right. i in my survival you know i need you right. and not just uh not just like financially but you Absolutely. know in so many areas of my life like you know there's times where i can become very my, my natural New York self and I'll start cursing and I'll just be rude and you're like that's not who you are you know right. like you don't have to talk to them that way you don't have to talk about people that way yeah. and I'm like yeah you're right you know like <laughs> you know I, I always consider you my anchor you bring me back to a place where I can just rethink <clears throat> about what I'm doing mm-hmm. and I'm I don't just go off in my own like well it's just the way that I am right you know and, and a lot of times it's very easy to go that that's just who I am Right. You know, and you, you remind me that I'm not. And uh, I think my over ambitious self, I'm able to remind you that you're more than who you are. Right. Too. Right. So to a, um, as a center in our mm-hmm. relationship, I think that the fact that we can understand how we naturally will disagree right. on things, but how that's a strength. And right. it's not something that we need to be afraid of. Right. And we can talk about it. And right. funny enough, goes back to the beginning stages of a relationship, freaking FPU. FPU. And ironically, so thankful for it. we do have some debt to take care of. <laughs> but it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Um, but but I, FPU did get me out of debt before yes. we were even together. So, I mean, it's definitely something. Yeah, let's not promote anything on this yeah, channel. Yeah, you know, it's you know definitely I mean? uh, helped me, though. But... Like and subscribe <laughs> because that helps. Let's promote that. Good talk. Anyways, I got things to do. You got things to do. You got things to do. So handle that. Nice. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> <laughs>